Hi everyone, Lisa Haven here on Restricted Republic with Justice Knights. Uh, we thought this would be a good one to do jointly and we plan on doing a, quite a few jointly as we give and, and, and get further into Restricted mm -hmm. Republic. But today's report is bombshell. Uh, what we have to talk about and deliver to you is this. President Trump, we already know, is a very smart man, but we're about to prove to you that he's more of a genius. He literally has an entire game plan set out, and we're going to reveal some of that game plan, but his ultimate end game is to dismantle the new world order, and he does that in quite a few different ways, but one example that we'll give is NATO. He's trying to get us out of NATO altogether, dismantling NATO. Uh, dismantling the European Union as well as the SWIFT bank. And a lot of people tend to, to forget about that or, or put that on the side, but it pay, plays a real key critical role here. So, but the truth is the mainstream media wants to paint President Trump as a lunatic. And in all reality, he's doing a lot of what he does on Twitter on purpose. And it's very politically mm -hmm. motivated and inspired. So we have a lot to share and to kick us off. See on your screen? A photo, many can't prove if it's real or if it was staged. It's a real photo. More than likely staged because President Trump has a funny way of, of mocking people, mocking the past, mocking Obama, mocking Hillary. You feel that and there's, there's a need for that. It's not childness. It's not he has something wrong in his mind as many people want you to believe. No, he's, he's sly like a fox because what he has to break apart is decades and decades of what you see now on your screen. The deep state. The deep state, which <laughs> is uh, beyond. And this graphic we created, we threw it up on Restricted Republic. And this graphic, and you know more about the deep state than anybody. You're covering it even longer than me. Right. Yeah, the deep state. And most of you are already well aware, but we know it includes uh, branches within mm -hmm. our U.S. government. That would be the CIA, the FBI, the NSA, the you name it, the multiple divisions here within the U.S. It's your intelligence community who is literally in bed with media because they have implanted intelligence com community people within the mainstream media. And they've also implanted them like your Adam Schiff mm -hmm. uh, within the Congress, within our congressional offices. So they're scattered in in every realm politics media and and so this deep state agent works jointly with the globalist with the new world order in order to implement their plan so we've got two things working uh there but that's your deep state in a nutshell and again you've got different deep states within different countries yes. as well this is also something to keep in mind but again they work jointly with the new world order for the common goal of globalism. And you saw in the beginning, I had Vladimir Putin and President Trump. There was a reason we put that clip there because the only man prior to Trump fighting against the new world order was Vladimir Putin. He's a well-known nationalist, which we've somehow made a dirty word now in the United States, yeah. nationalism, believing in your country, and they've changed that around completely. But now you're seeing indications that the grander plan is starting to surface. We, you have to remove yourself from the frivolous impeachment hearings. Yes, we cover them because we need to. They're horrible. That There's no basis. Every None. day they're diffused. Follow us on Twitter. You'll see we post continually about how it's been diffused and why it's even allowed to go on is a different story. But Well, I'll add to that. I mean, the impeachment hearing, as you guys know, if you've got the testimony from the first hand and the, the, the two people that were directly involved and both of them deny it, Case is closed. Case is closed. It doesn't matter what everybody else is trying to say from second and third hand. And the media just keeps, even Fox News mm -hmm. was trying to bring that back up like it was an important fact. Well, if the guy is a liar and he's lying, then it is what it is, right? Chris Wallace this morning, right? Today, I think we watched it. And it was, it was yeah, atrocious it was to atrocious. just hear that attack. Um, we, we, we could play Bill Barr. I actually was just going to read what he said. Um, immediately after President Trump won election, opponents inaugurated what they called the resistance. It's the first indication we've gotten from A.G. Barr of what his Horowitz report, what his Durham report may indicate. We know fully well what they've done as far as the deep state, how they've dug into business, how they've dug into the media, how they have planned a coordinated attack. This is your resistance. This is your resistance. And it's not against President Trump necessarily. This is a bigger picture. President Trump is the first one breaking apart our entry into the new world order. And this has been long, long in the making. We've watched presidents die because of this exact same reason. JFK would be a prime example of that. 
although not as deep, I believe, as Trump is in the minutia, nonetheless important. Now, this all stemmed from a story we saw, orientalreview.org. Not a normal source by any stretch of the imagination, but an incredibly in-depth and just enlightening article written. We're going to run you through this today because it, it really stages a lot of what's going on in great detail. The first paragraph we're going to read to you. It says, most pills are designed to cure a problem, but come with an array of secondary after effects. While Trump is using medication solely for the after effects, while the first intended pill is what's keeping him in power and alive. Very thought provoking sentiment. OK, so he's, he's giving the world a pill. He's giving the U.S. a pill, but he's not worried about what that first effect is. He's worried about what the after effect will be. He doesn't care about the shell shock nature. We see that in his tweets. Right. The man doesn't care. He has no fear of anybody. He doesn't care what you think about him. And I want to be very clear with everybody in our audience. We didn't elect an angel. We at this time in history can not have an angel running our country. It won't work. He's fighting the most demonic forces that have ever existed. Correct. Correct. And so to for people to pretend that he's going to be perfect, then this 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 champion of perfection isn't realistic. No president's perfect. They all make mistakes. Uh, there's a lot of misconception and it's coming directly from the mainstream media. Some of these things you see here and no one's exempt. Uh, Fox News has its good people. Like, mm -hmm. you know, I, I, Laura Ingram's not bad and I absolutely love Tucker Carlson, uh, you know, and, and Hannity's pretty good, but there are others who downright are trying to twist everything and go really, really, even, absolutely. even left some. So we have to be really leery of the media and this is exactly was was one of Trump's first steps and it was critical. And I think he accomplished that. And that's what you need to do. You need to educate your children, your grandchildren, your friends. And we all need to be talking about this openly because the more of us that understand what's happening, the better off we're going to be for a future administration. Hopefully it's Trump again on the next election. Um, the article goes on after they try to disseminate and show you how many people call him crazy, by the way, continually, because mainstream media continually tries to paint him in this. He's psychotic air, which is a complete falsehood. Let's make one thing clear, as they say to the establishment, Trump isn't mentally challenged. He's not. But he's definitely seen as a possible nemesis of the world. They mean more specifically, they're the new world order. Ever since he moved into the White House, Trump has been depicted as a narcissist, a racist, a sexist, as a climate skeptic, loaded with shady past stories and mental issues. And how true is that? But yet, but yet through all of that, he's raised a percentage of Americans who no longer believe that the media is telling the truth up to 60 percent. And imagine what we all know what he's facing. I think it's even higher. I think it's higher than that, too. The these these polls just... are always behind. Because why? What's he trying to tread through? What's he trying to destroy as this picture so amazingly depicts? The swamp, mm -hmm. the swamp that's deeper and more intrinsically and intertwined in the world landscape than I think most Americans realize. We've now classed it because it's easy to picture the swamp as, oh, it's Hillary and Obama and Brennan and Clapper and all these. That's that's a, a, smid, a smidgen of what's happening here, a smidgen. And he knows that. Uh, and I'm going to let you take this as soon as we, well, I'll read the opening paragraph. Then you got to run because you know so much of this. We will be given power back to the people. That's been his moniker since the very beginning, his motto, because the United States and its imperialist web woven around the world has been in the hands of few globalist bankers, military and industrials and multinationals for more than a century. So to achieve his plan, he has to do two things. He has to defuse NATO and he has to defuse the CIA. But nonetheless, a century of lies, shadow government, giving direct orders to the CIA and NATO. This is where the NATO attack begins. This is a hard one yeah. because people have to understand the NATO alliance. That's keeping us involved in foreign wars. It is in most people's opinion. And as we're getting deeper into this, the discoveries of NATO through President Trump, a lot of this is very new. Most of this information was was retained by prior administrations. Nobody ever wanted to know that the big banks and the big uh, businesses of the world were basically using NATO as their bully. And why? Because it benefits their global order and it gives them more control. They were paralyzed.